Believe it or not, you're watching an artist virtually build upon a mural he has painted. This is a prototype for art installations that will be going out around Invercargill. Danny Owen, also known as Dio, is collaborating with Invercargill-based company Digital Stock to bring virtual and augmented reality to the streets of the CBD. Director Jim Dowling says he's excited by the possibilities that come with the new technology. We're always experimenting with new technologies, you know, we've got our, um, you know, the main stuff we do for our clients building apps, but, you know, we really love virtual reality and augmented reality and, um, you know, as soon as new stuff comes up, we'll always purchase it for, um, for us to play around with, have our stuff, experiment with some new stuff, and I think that's sort of how this came about. Um, we'll be doing a bit of work with virtual reality uh, and, you know, Dio is one of, one of our friends for quite a while now, so after this mural we thought, you know, what's some cool stuff we could do with that um, and by, you know, drawing stuff in, in a virtual reality space we can mix that with other technologies such as augmented reality. Um, you know, you see this glorious mural, um, you know, through your eyes you look at it, next thing you know you pull up your phone and look at it and you've got all this new graffiti kind of coming out, you this art, very dynamic, very fluid um, and there's a lot of potential with that. Digital Stock creates software and applications for companies. But with this latest venture, it wants to push virtual and augmented reality out to the public with the most minimal barrier to entry, while also aiding the city's rejuvenation. Some businesses already know about it and some already have a vision for it. Uh, Invercargill's maybe, it's actually quite at the forefront of it to be honest, especially in New Zealand, but we're also trying to get it out there so that these other companies do understand that it does exist. We've wanted to do something uh, back for the city because we really love being here based in Invercargill. Um, so we, uh, we've just been sort of thinking about installations and what we'd like to put in town and just to push that technology as much as we can to, 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 to see what uh, Invercargill can be through Dio's eyes. Dio works as an aerosol artist between New Zealand and California. He says this is the most futuristic artwork he's ever been involved in and it will create interactive experiences for people viewing the pieces could be somewhere like a derelict alleyway where you could go in there with your phone, register like a small image and next thing you're looking down the alleyway through your phone and the whole alleyway is like coming to life and moving and yeah so for me it's this opportunity to sort of work with them and do something that's futuristic for graffiti art. The digital stock directors say the artworks will be accessible with a simple application on a smartphone. I'm Ruby Spink for The South Today.